Hi, I would heartily welcome all of you to our YouTube channel, Think Smart, and this is Mastan Ronaldo. Today, we are going to discuss an interesting chapter of Class Seven Science, Food Components, and this is Session One. The objectives of this session are listed here. First, to understand the importance of different types of food items. Next, to know the relationship between the food we take and the work we do. Then, to know about food components. We eat many kinds of foods like biryani, pulihora, idli, chapati, dal, etc. In class six, we learned how to cook some kinds of food, making them tasty and palatable by adding oil and condiments. You can see so many food items of all categories in the picture on the screen. Another one is here, containing all types of foods. You can see some vegetarian food items, some non-vegetarian food items, some green leaves, fruits, dry foods, what not. Everything is here. How many of these items have been eaten by you? Have you counted that how many food items have been displayed in this picture? Yeah. It is a 6x6 six six box, so a total of 36 food items are displayed. In this chapter, we will discuss what is the importance of food components and how do they help us. And here you go, a complete traditional food, right? Are you thinking that why these many food items for one time or are you thinking that all these require to us? Are you eating all the types of food items or are you eating only your favorite food items? Sometimes if food items are not tasty, we will not complete the food and in the middle we would leave. So that is the importance we give for tastiness of food. Do you know how do we increase the taste of the food? Now we shall discuss about condiments. Condiments are substances such as salt, mustard or pickle that is used to add flavor to food. That means we use condiments to enhance the taste of the food. And here is a key point. Condiments are known as Sugandha Dravyalu. Of course in Telugu. In Telugu we call condiments as Sugandha Dravyalu. Now use of condiments. As just now we have discussed, condiments are used in food items to enhance the taste of the food. And there is a note. In general, most of the condiments are added to food items after completing the cooking. You can see so many flavors of different condiments on the screen. 15 different types of condiments have been displayed on the screen. And this is another set. You can see different condiments on the screen. All these are not added to the food based on the requirement we add a few of them to the food to make it so tasty. Now we shall discuss these. What is your favorite food? Why do you eat food? Everyone has their own favorite food. But only favorite food is not sufficient to us. Because we need all the food components which are available in different food items. Not just one food item. And we eat food to get energy and different food items to be healthy. And now it is time for let us do one. Prepare a list here with the food that you eat every day. Here is my menu you can see. In general the food that I take every day. Milk, roti, rice, dal, curd, fruits. And you mention what food do you eat every day. And here is a box, mention at least 6 different items that you eat every day and write the same in your notes too. Why do we eat food? Yeah, I know, your answer is to get energy, good. And then the energy is used to work. What about during sleeping? Do we require energy during sleeping? Now let us discuss. Food supplies energy. We eat different types of food items and we perform different types of tasks. There is a relationship between eating food and performing activities. 
Food supplies the energy that we need to do many tasks in our life. There is a key point. While sleeping, we breathe and circulation of blood in our body goes on. Organs in our body function continuously. So, we need energy while sleeping also. We have understood that there is a relationship between the food we eat and the works we do. Here you have another list. Mention the food items you eat and activities you perform. Have you ever taken your lunch on any day lately? During that time, how did you feel? Now we shall discuss, let us do two. Suppose, if we don't take food for lunch, we will feel energyless or less energetic. If we don't get food for more than a day, we will completely unenergetic and very hardly we perform activities. If we don't get food for many days, you can guess what would happen. We completely lose our energy. Our organs may not function properly and we may eventually die also. Therefore, we should take food continuously and different food items which contain all the food components. Listing out food components. Observe any food packet. Every food packet contains a list of food components in it. You see the outer surface of the cover and verify and prepare a list of food components. List of food components on covers. You can see 12 food components on this box. Yeah, you can see how the food components are mentioned here on the outer surface of the box. Here you have another one on the screen. If you closely look at it, there we can see the information given. Typical value 100 ml contains, 250 ml contains and energy, protein, carbohydrates of which sugar, fats of which saturated and etc. information. And this is another one. You can see very clearly all the food components involved in this food item along with the values. Listing out food components. You have to mention the food items that you eat and the food components that those food items have in them like carbonates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals and other if any. One is done for you, milk powder. It contains carbohydrates, proteins, fats and other. You can verify this by checking the cover of milk powder. Some key points now. Flour, sugars, dough fats and oils and other ingredients like ammonium bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate etc. are the components found in biscuits. Salt and sugar come under carbohydrates. Now we are going to discuss essential components of food. Our food consists of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Besides these, water and fibers are also present. Major food components you can see on the screen. They are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Now we shall discuss in detail. First, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the sugars, starches and fibers found in fruits, grains, vegetables and milk products. Now protein. Protein is a macronutrient 
that is essential to building muscle mass. It is commonly found in animal products though is also present in other sources such as nuts and legumes. Now fat. Fat is a type of nutrient and just like protein and carbohydrates, your body needs some fat for energy to absorb vitamins and to protect your heart and brain health. Vitamins Vitamins are substances that your body needs to grow and develop normally. And at last, minerals. Minerals are found in food like cereals, bread, meat, fish, milk, dairy, nuts, fruits and vegetables. We need more of some minerals than others. It's time for review. So far, we have discussed about the importance of different types of food items, about the relationship between the food we take and the works we do, and about the food components. Thank you for watching session 1. Soon we would present session 2. Thank you.